Welcome back to another video. Today's review is focused on Atlanta season four, episode 10 entitled It Was All a Dream. And the official synopsis of the final episode is, you know what? As much as I hated this show, I think I'm gonna miss it. And before I give out my review, please like the video, subscribe or comment, dislike the video, or just watch the video and keep going on with your nights. Atlanta, the final episode has come and gone and Atlanta is now officially over with. And I am definitely going to miss this show with all of the characters, all of the crazy madness that this show offered. And so, yeah, I felt like the final episode was a nice finale for all of the characters as the plot in here gives each of the characters something to work with. But I felt like Darius was like the main focal point of the final episode as his journey in here is definitely a wild trip. Like, I'm not going to lie. As Darius is about to go through a sensory deprivation tank where you go inside of a tank and basically you just get lost in your mind, just lost in thoughts, just thinking about different stuff, just thinking about whatever while floating underwater and everything else. And you just wonder, was it really all a dream? Or was he actually doing this? Like he was getting some medication for personal reasons. Cree Summer makes a special guest appearance. And I felt like she gives out a nice performance with her character. And yeah, it was really nice to see Cree Summer. Like she is a legend in my opinion. And once he gets to this sensory deprivation tank, that is where you just start to wonder what is really going on. He sees an old friend by the name of London who he used to hang out with. And London is definitely a hot, a hot girl. Like she is gonna do some crazy mess and she's crazy. After what she does, she is definitely crazy. Gets pulled over by the police while drunk, is somehow able to escape getting arrested. Um, she accidentally hits somebody, says that it was Darius and everything else. Like, I don't know what's going on. And then, it kind of felt like get out kind of in a hot second with how he kept having just different dreams and just going back and forth because of this tank. But in the meanwhile, Ern, Van and Al are going to one of Van's friends' new restaurant, a black owned sushi restaurant. And I like sushi. Like I'm a fan of sushi and apparently Popeye's is happening right now too. As for some reason, Popeyes is talked about a lot in here and as well as just Judge Judy. Like, I kind of wish that they would have brought up the Popeyes trend. How when the chicken sandwich debuted, how everybody was going crazy over that chicken sandwich. Like, some people was doing the most. And Judge Judy with her allegedly being all thick in the right sections too. Like, I thought that was pretty funny. But the sushi trip, it goes from pretty promising to just boring to just an all out just like segment with a nation of Islam brother just talking about the history of the sushi, why it's important, talking about black people, Popeye's, coonery, how the chicken sandwich and just Popeye's itself is just coonery and, and that madness, the future and that kind of stuff. Like, I don't care how much that guy was talking about. I'm still going to have a Popeye sandwich, but not all the time. And just how, yeah, he was just talking a lot about a lot of different things and how Alfred almost became natural selection because of poisonous fish. But then Darius just comes into the picture after escaping the dream and still in the car, Popeye sandwiches, chicken meals, and that kind of stuff all around. And he saves the day by basically letting them all just escape with him. And so, yeah, the gang returns back home to talk about what happened. Darius, for some reason, still thinks he's inside of his tank. And I just had a feeling that something was going to happen. 
I just felt that the ending was going to be like a huge plot twist. Like it was really all a dream from the very beginning with the first scene from the very first episode. And I don't think it, it was a, it was a dream. I think Darius did indeed steal that car and buy everybody some Popeyes. But the episode, though, just basically ends with just everyone just chilling, smoking some weed. Darius is looking at Judge Judy and her fixed self. And that is how Atlanta basically ends. And yeah, the final episode definitely did have some pretty crazy moments. Definitely left me thinking about a couple of different scenes in here. Like, was it really all a dream with Darius? Um, guest stars, Cree Summer. It was dope to see Cree Summer. Judge Judy, the Popeyes, the different references was all pretty funny and interesting. Like, I kind of do wish that they would have talked a lot more about Popeyes and how people was going nuts over the chicken sandwich and just Popeyes itself, though. But I'm sad, though. Like, I remember watching it the very first time. Like, I actually did watch the premiere all the way back in 2016. And... Some a lot of moments in here that is definitely memorable. Like Atlanta is a pretty good TV show. Each season is really good for different reasons. And I felt like season four did not disappoint when it came to most of the episodes. Um, but yeah, I just think that everyone involved, they're going to be fine when it comes to getting roles and just new stuff that they're that whatever they're working on. And I can't wait to see what's next for everyone else involved. Like kudos to all of all of them. Kudos to everyone involved with the TV show. But I would say, though, my rating for Atlanta season four, it would probably be maybe um, four stars out of five. So thank you for watching. And until next time.